Well, today is National Wear Red Day. You see a lot of us wearing red this morning, including the pins we have on too. This is part of the Go Red for Women campaign, all to raise awareness about the signs and symptoms of heart disease. And Tim, as you know, it's a condition that kills one in three women here in the United States. And if this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that life can change in an instant. And this morning, a local woman is sharing her story in hopes of helping others. Capturing moments like these, it is precious. Family is everything for Lottie Sharif Kukula. I got a new grandbaby, new great grandbaby coming next month, and I want to be here <laughs> to spoil her. She is looking forward to the milestone, one that if things would have played out differently just months ago, she might not have had the chance to experience. So that's the scary part. I could not be here right now. Lottie was dealing with stress, the loss of her husband. Her mother moved in. On top of that, the pandemic kept her from going to the gym. I would get out of breath going up and down the stairs or carrying laundry from the basement. I just figured, you know, I was out of shape and getting older and, you know, I just attributed to that. She mentioned the discomfort during an already scheduled visit to her doctor in the fall. After being referred to a specialist, Lottie got what she says was a scary diagnosis. Three major blockages in her arteries. 70, 80, and 90 percent blockages. And had they not, you know, been taken care of, I would have, if I had had a heart attack, I could have died or I would have had to have, you know, open heart surgery. ProMedica Toledo Hospital interventional cardiologist Dr. Sahar Ismail says studies suggest women more often than men don't have chest pain. So women may come in with um, shortness of breath or may come in with more uh, associated symptoms that are more vague, like dizziness, fatigue, um, um, lightheadedness. According to the American Heart Association, heart disease and stroke is the number one killer in women, and stroke disproportionately affects African Americans. Black women are less likely than white women to be aware that heart disease is the leading cause of death. Dr. Ismail says risk factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity are more common among black and Hispanic patients. There are also more health disparities and inequities. You know, I have a lot of patients that are either working very long hours or they're working multiple jobs. They can't necessarily follow up with all their appointments and or, you know, their health insurance. They have poor health insurance coverage or they may not have health insurance at all. Which makes it more difficult to get a higher level of care, like what Dr. Ismail did for Lottie, a procedure to relieve those blockages. Today, the 71-year-old says she is taking her medication, eating healthier, exercising more, and encouraging others to do the same. Just be as healthy as you can. I want to be around a lot longer. Well, you know what Lottie tells me? She is feeling good and more and more like herself, Tim. I think these stories are so important because, uh, you know, even in my family on both sides, there's a history of heart attack and stroke. Mm -hmm. And so we have to share these stories and make people aware that we all have to do better, right? Yeah, we sure ourselves do. ourselves and stay safe. Lost both of my grandmothers due to heart disease, and it's uh, something that, you know, we get more medically advanced as the years go on. But if you don't realize something's wrong or you think you're just out of shape, as she thought at first, you're not going to detect that there's a problem out there. So especially during this pandemic, people might not be going to the doctors right. like they should, right. right? And you should. And that's one thing uh, that the doctor talked about. You know, they're doing everything they can. They have the right precautions in place. Go see your doctor. For sure. Well, thank you for shedding light on that, especially on this Go Red for Women Day. Well, still to come. This